Hey guys, and welcome back to another book review. Are you surprised? Two horror related videos in one week. Are you super proud of me? Because usually that never happens. But anyways, today is book review. I really don't want to film because uh, last week's book review was kind of a negative book review and this week's book review is also going to be a negative book review. I hate doing negative book reviews. It makes me feel really bad and I just hate saying that I hate a book. Um, I really, really, really don't like this book. Like, really don't like this book. And I'm really disappointed <laughs> because every review on Goodreads is four stars, five stars, four and a half, five stars, four stars, four and a half, five, four and a half, five, four, five. It's literally everyone loves this. I don't understand. And granted, everyone has a different taste in horror. And I think this just isn't my idea of horror and it's just not something I look for in stories or books. So take that um, into consideration when you're listening to this review. If these sound like something you would like, then you'll probably like this book. I didn't. <laughs> and I feel really, really bad. <laughs> but let's get into it. This is Wounds by Nathan Ballingred. I think that's how you say Ballingred. Ballingred, Ballingred, Ballingred. I don't know. I'm really sorry. I don't know how to pronounce last names. And I always feel really bad when I mispronounce authors' names in my reviews. But this is Wounds. And this is actually, actually six stories in one. So all of them are pretty short, except for the last two are a little longer. The sixth story is the longest, and I think it's actually um, a novella, so that's why. But yeah, I'm oh, okay. It says it's supposed to be six stories from the border of hell, which intrigues me to begin with. I'm not gonna lie that, you know, that intrigues me. The back doesn't really tell you anything about the stories at all. It's just telling you what the stories are, which stories are in it. It just tells you the names. It doesn't really tell you anything about it. Um, it just says that this is a, this gripping collection of terror by Shirley Jackson award-winning author Nathan Ballingred includes the novella The Visible Filth, which has been adapted for film. Yeah, so... Uh, one of them, my actual, my, my favorite out of the six stories was adapted into a movie, which I'm kind of debating if I should watch. I looked at the reviews of the movie and no one really liked it, but you know, so, okay, let's just, let's just get into this review. So these six stories are supposed to involve hell in some way or another. They're all pretty different, um... Actually, they're all very different, but they all have some sort of hell involved in them. Well, the first story is called The Atlas of Hell, and it's about Jack, who is a used book seller, and he gets roped into helping these, like, mobster thug-type dudes into um, stealing this Atlas of Hell. And that's pretty much all I can tell you. It's a very short story. I think it's only, like, 30 pages. This one was okay, in my opinion. It just, it was kind of boring and some some of these stories are very hard to follow at times and I don't know if it's just because I'm so bored that I'm not paying attention, <laughs> not following along properly, or if it's just like the way he's writing, I don't exactly know what's going on. So this one was decent. It's better than a lot of the others, but it wasn't my favorite. Number two is called The Diabolist. And I don't know how to explain this story without giving away anything. So all I'm going to tell you is it's narrated from a very different perspective than I've ever seen before. And that's it. I just have never seen a narrator like this. It's very weird. Um, yeah, that's all I can tell you. I can't really tell you anything else or it just gives away the entire plot. It wasn't very scary. Honestly, none of these are very scary. 
and it was just very weird for me. I just didn't really connect with it. I didn't really get it. I just didn't get it. That's, that's all I can say. Number three is called Skull Pocket. And this one was okay. It was about these ghouls and how they lived in a city with humans and how they hold this annual fair. And it's basically just um, describing how the ghouls came to be there, how the fair got established, and basically like that sort of thing. Uh, it's very much about backstory, which I thought was pretty interesting. I like backstory stories. Skull Pocket was okay. It was different and it did intrigue me, but it just overall wasn't my cup of tea. Number four was The Maw, and this was actually about a world that went to hell, like literally went to hell, and it kind of just talks about like love and loss, and it was, it was okay. It was fine. It was a very short story. I didn't find it to be anything crazy cool or crazy special or anything, but I mean... It was all right, um, yeah, it was, it was fine, I guess. Number five, this is my absolute favorite out of all of them, and this is the one that was adapted into the movie, which is why I'm intrigued by it, but this is called The Visible Filth, and it's about Will, who is a bartender, and one night a fight breaks out at the bar, and he comes across a cell phone, and the moral of this story is he should have not picked up that cell phone. And that's basically all I can tell you because I don't want to give away anything. These are pretty really short stories and there's just too much to give away if I go into more depth. But yeah, so it's about a cell phone he shouldn't have picked up, but he did. And for me, this was the most realistic story. It was more like things that I would read, like... um it just had that realism that these other stories didn't have and I liked that because I like realistic horror. I've said that before. So this was the most realistic story and I felt the mo I felt the most intrigued and fascinated by this one and I thought it was actually pretty well done. It and ended interestingly. It was an interesting story. Like I liked this one. I did like this one. That's the only one that saved the book for me is this story. Number six, which is the last one, which is also, I'm pretty sure the uh, novella that he has. I think that's the new novella is The Butcher's Table. I can't tell you a lot about this one, but all I can tell you is it deals with pirates, Satanists, and cannibals. That is a very strange combination to me. Not the Satanists and the cannibals. That makes sense. The pirates, I don't really get. <laughs> I really didn't understand that. I thought it was very strange. And when I started reading this story, I was like, okay, this is going to be okay. It has two things I really like and I'm fascinated by. This will be interesting. And then the pirates came in and the story got confusing and it got strange and I just, it was so boring. It was so boring. It was so, so, so boring to me. It was so boring. That's all I can say. And I feel so freaking bad that I don't like these. <laughs> the, the ending of The Butcher's Table was pretty interesting. I will say that. I was kind of like, huh, all right. That was interesting. Like the the beginning, I was like, huh. The middle, I was like, what? And then the end, I was like, okay. I still didn't like it, but I thought it was interesting. I don't know, guys. I feel really, 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 really bad. <laughs> I don't like giving bad book reviews, but I just did not like this book. But anyways, let's just wrap up this book. So obviously all these stories have hell involved in one way or another. They're all very different, but there is a hell element involved. The stories do kind of intertwine. Like there is like little things that make you think, huh, like the last one or huh, like this. That's interesting. So I kind of did like that. Like I liked that they were all kind of cohesive stories and they weren't just like duh, 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 duh. So I kind of liked that. Honestly, all of the ones except for The Visible Filth, which is about the bartender Will who finds a cell phone, all of the other ones are very otherworldly to me and kind of feel 
like you're in a different realm or in a different world or it just doesn't feel normal I guess and I personally don't like that I like realistic horror unless the otherworldly horror is done in a certain way then I can get on with but usually otherworldly horror doesn't do well in my brain it's just not how I like to read horror so that's something to be aware of. Again, the writing style is just not my favorite. I don't know what it is about how he writes. It must be, it has to be something about the way he writes. I just think it's the, the otherworldly, like, it's, it just feels old to me, but not like cool old horror where like, we're talking about like Victorian or like, um, you know, um, like old ghost stories. It's not like those. It just feels old and I don't know how to express that. It just feels old but not in a good horror, like an old horror way. It just feels old and like stale almost to me. That sounds so mean. I am so sorry. This is so mean. I hope he never sees this book review. He's gonna hate me. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I just wanted this book to end. I mean, I was just going through each story like, okay, 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 okay. And I almost didn't even finish the book. I wanted to quit. I was this close to not finishing it, which I never do. I always finish books. It takes a lot for me to not finish. So I just, I don't know, guys. I feel so bad, but I just didn't like this book. And then the other thing is, is these are pretty short stories except for The Visible Filth and The Butcher's Table. Those are the longest ones. And for some reason, the shorter that they are, it made it worse for me in this scenario because I was almost just going, okay, 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 finish, 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 finish. And I just know that's not a good book for me when I want it to finish. When I don't want to finish the book, that's a good book. And for me, that just wasn't this. I wanted it to end so badly. I feel so horrible. I'm so sorry if you like this book or this um, author or these short stories. I'm really sorry. Again, nothing personal. It's just not my type of horror at all. This is just not what I go for. If this sounds like something you would like, please check it out. I think you would like it. It's obviously it struck a chord with a lot of people. Goodreads has amazing reviews for this book, but I, I'm just that oddball that can't get into it. That's just that's just it I guess I'm just the odd one out here yeah guys that's all I have um I'm really sorry this is another negative review I I don't know maybe I'm hitting the the ground with these horror books I'm not finding any good ones I am going book shopping this weekend so maybe I can find some really really good ones that would be awesome if you have any recommendations please please leave them in the comments down below you know I love horror book honestly you can do mystery thriller you know I like that too but any book recommendations I would be glad to look into because your girl desperately needs it I am struggling <laughs> struggling so hopefully next Friday we will have a positive book review up on this channel because I really need to do a positive book review. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you like this book, please let me know in the comments down below so other people watching can see someone else's viewpoint. And yeah, I hope you give this a like and maybe think about subscribing to my channel. And I hope I see you guys in my next video. Bye.